Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's 6x6 paper pad video. This is the second in a sporadic series aimed at helping us to use the 6x6 paper pads that we have in our stash. In the previous video I used the pastel paper pad that I bought from Hobbycraft. In this video I'm going to use the earthier toned pad. To get going, I pulled out one of each pattern from the paper pad just so I could get a feel for the kind of colours and patterns that are in it. I also pulled a couple of solid-ish papers from my project pack. I chose a minty green one and the dark brown you can see to the top left of the screen. And as I was doing this, I had the thought that I would like to create some strips. So I took a strip die and I cut four strips. I think they were just over a centimetre wide, I think. I haven't measured them, I'm just guessing. So I cut four strips from each patterned paper. And then I sorted them all out and put them at the top of my craft mat so that I could grab the ones I wanted really easily. Next I took a 4 by 6 inch piece of smooth white cardstock and added a sheet of double sided adhesive to it. I then peeled back the release paper and started adding my pattern paper strips on a diagonal. I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do with them at this point but this was the starting point. So I started with the darkest brown almost black strip and thought of that as an anchor point. I then added a light tealy coloured strip because I wanted some contrast between the light and the dark and then I added the more yellow kind of yellow ochre damask style strip. I wasn't going for a repeating pattern as such, but I didn't want, say, two teal coloured strips together or two yellowy coloured strips together. I wanted to get a nice distribution of pattern and colour and value. So some of the strips, the darker strips, are really attention grabbing. I didn't want them all in one place. I wanted them to be spread out. So that was what I tried to achieve as I added my strips to my card. Once I'd stuck most of my strips down, I just took my scissors and snipped off the overhang and then I used some of this overhang to fill in some little gaps in the top and bottom corners. And I've got plenty of strips left, so I'll probably be using those in a future video. As I was flicking through my dies, wondering what to die cut from this piece of stripy paper, I found my banner dies and decided to use those. I thought it went well with the diagonal angular pattern. I wanted to give this a little bit of extra dimension before I popped it on my card, but I didn't want to add a whole layer of foam tape, so I cut another banner from Smooth White Cardstock and stuck that on the back of my patterned banner. I then glued that to my card blank. My card blank is four by six inches and I've added a piece of smooth white cardstock on top of that that's about an eighth of an inch smaller all the way around so there's a nice white border, a little frame and I used a corner positioner to position my banner in the top left hand corner and the corner positioners are really useful for making sure that everything is equidistant where you want it to be equidistant. After that, I took a cog die and cut it from vellum and used it a bit like I would a doily on a more ethereal card. I wanted it to soften the pattern and give my focal point something to sit on, but I quite like the coggy nature of it. I think it went well with the earthy nature of the papers. I then cut a branch from gold foil cardstock 
and stuck that to the vellum cog using high tack glue. I then put ever such a tiny amount of high tack glue on the back of the vellum behind the leaves of the branch so that it hopefully wouldn't be visible and then stuck that on the left hand side of my banner. So everything is kind of to the left leaving lots of lovely white space around the banner to give somewhere for the eye to rest from that busy pattern. For my sentiment I chose a many thanks that I'd stamped and cut out a few nights ago. Again I wanted to give it a bit of dimension but not as much as if I'd used foam tape so I cut a little sliver of paper and popped it behind the sentiment strip and because the sentiment was going to go over the bottom of the branch I added an extra bit of card to the right hand side of the sentiment so that it would remain level as it sat over that branch stem and I think the black on white sentiment worked really well because it brings some white to the foreground and the black ink tones in nicely with the darkest of the stripes. For finishing touches I brought in my little pot of die cut gold circles and added them with glue. I just created a bit of a diagonal flow from the bottom right corner of the banner up to the top left corner. So this spreads out the bling a bit and adds a bit of interest and sparkle and extra texture. And that's this card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. It's given you an idea maybe of something you can do with the six by six inch paper pads in your collection. If it has, please do let me know in the comments, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I'll see you back here very soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.